Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create custom alerts and notifications for yourself on the Forex trading platform, MetaTrader 5. Now, before I do proceed to the content of this video, I would like to mention that if you're in the market for a new Forex trading platform, or would like to try out MetaTrader for the first time, feel free to follow the link that is provided at the very beginning or at the very end of the video. And I'll also include the same link down in the description below. This link will automatically and directly take you to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. So now on to the video. Like I said, this video will be all about creating alerts and custom notifications for yourself on MetaTrader 5. Now, if you don't already have it activated, you'll first need to bring up the toolbox which is this bar running along the bottom of our screen here. Now, if you don't have this activated, you can go to view and click on toolbox. That will open up the exact copy of the toolbox you're looking at on my screen. You can also use the control T shortcut on your keyboard as well. Now with the toolbox up, you now have access to alerts. So if you notice, there is a tab for alerts along our toolbar here. And if we just left click that, we are now in the alert section. Now, if you'd like to actually create an alert, you can simply right click with anywhere within our toolbox here. And you'll notice we have a couple different options. Since we don't have an alert created yet, the only option we have right now is for alerts. And if you need to, you can actually click the enter key on your keyboard as a shortcut instead of having to right click here. So just keep that in mind. But if you do click on create, as you see, it will now bring up the alert editor and we can actually add new or we can modify existing alerts based off defined conditions that we set as the user. So first up, you'll need to click the enable button for alerts to even work. So that would be the first step here and just keep that in mind. Now, based off our action, we have a couple different options here. Now, alerts can be triggered in multiple ways and when they are triggered, this is what will happen. So currently, if we have an alert triggered, we will have a file created for ourselves. We can actually sign up for our email notifications. If you want, you can use a sound notification, which is what many of our traders typically like. Or we can also receive text notifications, which we'll get down here in our toolbox as well. You might expect to receive those in your journal tab. But I think the best option here in the option that many other trading platforms use is a sound alert. Again, if you'd like to, you can create multiple alerts, which do have different actions on them for the same contract. So if you need to create a sound alert, but you fear that you may miss out on that sound alert, feel free to sign up for a file notification or just a regular or email notification as well. That way you won't miss out and you'll get the notification as you expect. Now from here, directly underneath this field, we have the symbol. And again, this is just simply where you'll enter in the symbol you'd like to receive a notification for. This is just one set of criteria here. Now, if you do trade other contracts such as futures or Bitcoin, you may expect to see those fields populated with a live trading account for here. I am currently running on a demo, so all we expect to see is Forex, but that's just fine because we are in the Forex business anyway. So for our symbol here, we'll select the euro versus the US dollar. Now, underneath here, we do have the alert type. So you can click down the drop down menu and this is based off of the action. So as you can see, we currently have a sound alert. So if we click the drop down menu, here are the available different sounds that we have. There are alerts for different, different sound notifications for different alerts on this platform. I'll show you those in just a bit, but for now we can keep alert. If you would like to add your own custom notification, so you know this alert is going off for the specific instrument or you'd like to just put your own sound in there you can do so by clicking these three horizontal dots here and as you can see it does open up 
your file navigator for MetaTrader 5 sounds. If you'd like to, you can navigate to a section on your computer and simply select that sound notification from there. Or you can even drop that MP3 or that .wav file directly into your MetaTrader 5 program files and simply select the notification from there. Depending what is in this box right here is a sound that will trigger once an alert has been hit. Now this field does change depending on the type of action you change, you select, excuse me, so as you can see, we do have a notification. I believe if we type in this field, our notification will read this text aloud. So we can say alert for Euro US dollars if we want to. Mail alerts, we can click a source. And as you can see, we can just simply add our email here. So whatever that may be, we can have alert for Euro versus US dollar. And then once we click apply, whenever that alert condition is met, we'll receive the email. Same goes for your file. You can select a specific file you'd like to update your alerts on. So if you possibly have a CSV file or such an executable file that does hold your list of alerts, this is an option for you. So again, we'll keep on the sound alert. Now we can select the timeout for ourselves. I would suggest keeping this on 10 seconds, but if you need to adjust it to a more delayed period or a longer period, feel free to do so as well. Again, I suggest to keep this at 10 seconds. Now, if you need to, we can set an alert in. So for whatever reason, or you may only follow specific trading hours and you want that alert to end at the end of your trading session, you can do so by coming in here and selecting the date and then manually adjusting the time if needed. Or if you'd like to keep this an alert in there for an extended period of time, maybe for the entire contract a month, you can simply input the last trading day of that contract month. In that way, your alert will allow you to know or will either expire based on the day that you have selected or the time that you have selected as well. So that's just how and when the alerts actually expire from your toolbox here. So just keep that in mind. Now, the last couple of fields we have here are the condition. So as you can see, there's quite a few. There's bid or is less than, bids greater than, ask less than, ask greater than. We have the last, last price, we have volume, and we can have specific times as well. So again, I know I mentioned timing and different alerts. I somewhat alluded to it here in the expiration, but if you would like to create an alert for when the contract month is about to expire, maybe that last trading day, we can mainly come in here and put a specific time on that expired date if we need to. But there's a ton of different options as you see here. So let's say for example, we put in a condition of a bid is less than, we can come up to our Euro US dollar here in our market watch board here on the top left corner. We can see our current bid price in like the condition states, we want a bid that is less than to alert us. So if we need to, we can put in here a custom value of our own. 0.13624 is right below the current market right now. Maximum iteration. So if we only want that alert to trigger one time, we can just do so right here. You can manually adjust it to five if you need to, or you can come in here and just use the various options they have on the drop down menu. So that's also something to keep in mind. I'll put my max iterations of three alerts for this. And if I need to, I can test to see what the actual alert sounds like. There you have it. And then we can press OK. So now here is our list of alerts once we do have them created. As you can see, we have a maximum limit of three. It has actually not triggered yet, so we're at a counter of zero. We have a timeout of 10 seconds. It does show the expiration time. And we can show how or what we'll receive once the alert actually hits. We'll receive the sound notification. Now, if you need to, you can come in here and once again, right click within our toolbox. As you can see, now that we do have an alert created, we can modify our alert if we need. So it'll automatically fill these fields in 
with the criteria that you just selected. But again, if you need to edit it at a later point, if you need to change how many iterations of it there is, the timeout, you can do so here. If you right click it, you can also delete it or you can also disable it by clicking the enable on off or using the space shortcut. That'll simply just freeze your alert, essentially putting it into stasis. If your condition is hit, it won't notify you, but it will not keep track of it. So if for whatever reason you want to just pause your alert, but keep those criteria and conditions set, I suggest using the enable on off button instead of just completely deleting it. Now, as I mentioned, there are some other notification sounds in which you can customize by going up to tools and then options. And then we can come in here for notifications. If you do use the mobile versions of MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, you can enable push notifications here as well. Simply just type in your MetaQuotes ID and then you can test it out and you'll receive notifications directly to your phone. You can also set up email notifications here directly as well. So also keep that in mind. One last thing here, if you do click on events, this is actually where the sound events are coming from. So as you can see, we do have sound events for connecting, disconnecting, email notification, timeout. There's a whole bunch of different events that are based around sound events here. And if you need to, you can double click and you can actually customize the sound alert you'd like to enter. If you do choose other, it'll actually, again, like I did previously, open up the file navigator. This way you can directly input your own custom sound alert if you'd like to. Otherwise, feel free to use the various default sound alerts that they do have provided for all of its users on MetaTrader 5. But that just about does it for this video, guys. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like our bid price will actually be less than what we set it at. It seems that the market is actually rising, so we won't get to test that alert out in real time. But as you can see, it still has not been hit yet. Our counter is still at zero. So as far as we know right now, our alert is in perfect working condition, and we're just simply waiting for that price to hit the condition that we set it as. But that just about wraps it up for this video. We hope you found it helpful. Again, if you're looking to try out MetaTrader 5 for the first time and you'd like a demo, feel free to use the link at the very beginning or at the end of the video. This same link will be provided down in the description below, which will bring you directly to the demo signup page. Once again, thanks for watching this video.